Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to episode 6 of my Let's Play Minecraft series. My name is Soki Briggs and hope you enjoyed episode 5 and all the other episodes we've posted so far. Let's get started with today's episode. If you look around me, things are looking a little bit different. This wasn't here before, the wheat farm. Sugar canes, they were not here before. I don't know if you can see beyond that, but there are lots of chicken, a chicken farm. I've been busy, very, very busy. Let me just walk you through what we've been doing so far. Remember when we found the little diamond and we turned it into a diamond pickaxe and we mined so obsidian and we got our enchantment table? Well, I placed it down and I told you I was supposed to get some books, I could create bookshelves. And we got farming and got some sugar canes. I moved the chest right here. Got a lot of sugar canes, too much sugar canes. And yeah, I no longer need all that sugar cane. But the next item, next thing on my list to do was to get wheat. And that's exactly what I did. So I found from some wheat, got some seed from grass. And I'll just show you what I've been doing for the past two hours or more. Farming is boring, but hey, you need to feed some animals. And I basically wanted to farm chickens because I was being shot by skeletons. I was being attacked by some mobs. So using a bow makes it a lot easier to fight mobs. You don't need to use sword or come close proximity with them to fight and just shoot them from afar i think that's a better way to kill mobs than risking your shield and all that i don't need all the sugar canes anymore i just needed a little sugar cane just to create a bookshelf so i'm going to harvest all this i don't need them anymore and we have enough bookshelves Enough sugar cane, stacks of sugar cane to create a lot of bookshelves to give our enchantment table the much desired level 30 enchantment for tools. Yeah, we're coming closer to the chicken farm, and I gave the chicken a lot of seeds, so I have never killed these chickens. There are a lot of them right here. And once I step into the farm, you can hear the noise. Lots of chickens. They see seeds in my hand right now. That's why they're making all that noise. Wow, that's a lot of chickens. Well, so let's get feeding. I'm breeding more chickens when I eventually come here with my sword for the killing of these chickens. You can see I'm getting XP too. I'm at level 27 right now. Although enchanting items don't need that much XP, but hey, having enough XP when playing these games is always a good idea. All these eggs, I don't need them. Remember, we just wanted to unlock some achievements. That's why we got eggs in the first place to make cakes. So let's see which of achievements we've Unlocked so far. Let me get out of here first. Noisy chickens. Are you sh let me show you some of the achievements we've unlocked. I also have one last surprise for you guys. Chicken farm done. Sugar canes, you've seen that. Wheat farm, a little one. But then, if we take a look at some of my achievements, we've been able to create. You no know, bread has not been done. I'll go right ahead and create bread and also monster hunt and a bow golden apple we have still a lot to do still a lot but let me show you the last surprise I wanted to keep the best for last what do you think it's going to be Yeah, a cow farm, guys. 
I have a cow farm right here. What you see here was as a result of a tutorial found on YouTube. For anybody playing Minecraft, I recommend you check out tutorials on YouTube, they are great. So basically, I followed the tutorial and it helped me create this cow farm. I brought two cows in here, or four in total, into this little box. That's a lot of noise, I know. So I can't really show you the the this thing, but do check out. I'll put the link in the description for the video I used to make this cow farm. And basically, what happens is I come here with wheat. I press this little button, and cows bop up on the water, and I can kill all of them and get their item. When I'm done feeding them, I go down back. So let's get some killing done because I haven't harvested any of these cows yet. That's a lot of cow. That's a lot of cow. I can't even see myself. I hope my sword does not break. Basically, I need leather. I need lots of leather to make those bookshelves, so I had to create a cow farm and get leather. I'm killing all of them right down here, but the ones that I feed are right at the top. To break this sword so I better keep it outside what I'm not gonna use okay I have a stone sword wow that's a lot of cows this is not an automated cow farm as you might have seen so for a basic beginner playing survivor mode you don't have a lot of resources to create that type of farm hey this one works just fine See how many cows I killed in one go. My health is going down really fast. Let's see how many things we got now. Wow. That is a stack of raw beef, extra 17. And leather, 29 leather. That's more than enough leather to create the books I need. So, whoa, it's night. Better head on home and make it daylight. Here, here they are, mobs. I'm out. <laughs> yes, I'm still scared of mobs. Home. Remember our bed? Daylight. All right. I'll go right ahead and just get the the flower I need I mean the paper I need to create those books because we need these enchantment tables to be complete so we can start enchanting things so lots of progress cow farm chicken farm and wheat farm sugarcane farm Lots of progress. Alright, I need some wood. Don't tell me I ran out of wood. Yeah. I need to make that shelf so we can get some enchantments going. The next thing on my list I plan to get after I've gotten this cow farm and all that, the next thing would be an XP farm. I'm talking about a mob farm. You know, one of those high tower things they build high in the sky and mobs spawn at that height and then you just go at a certain place and kill them. That would be the next thing. Also, following YouTube tutorials because they show us everything we need to know about Minecraft. Do I need this much books, shelves? Let's get it. All 
All right, let's see what we can enchant. Level 14. I don't think I did this right. There's not supposed to be. I'm looking for level 30. I have to go craft these shelves again. Sorry guys, I didn't look this up before doing it, so <laughs> noob. I ran out of wood. How convenient. Wrong time to run out of wood, guys. No wood. Oh, yeah, I do have wood right here. Some birch. What am I doing here? Alright, let's place that right here, one here, one here. Let's see what level of enchantment I can get now. 22. Place one here. I should have looked this up before I started to do it. It would have been much, much easier, but I didn't, so... I'm just going to wing it and see if I can get a level 30 enchantment that I've been looking for. One more here. Yeah. 26. Almost there. Where else? Where else do I need to put... But hey, if I can get it correct, I run out of books, so I need to go get more leather. But you get the point. Our enchantment table is going to eventually get up to level 30 enchantments. And we'll be set to enchant all our armor. And although I only have iron tools right now, I will enchant those and use them the best I can. So it's been a great, great, great episode playing on this server my local server i call it a server and hey like i told you the next thing will be to build that um mob spawning thingy up there in the sky so i've been saving up on some cobble and making some stone i don't want it to be look ugly so i'm going to spend some time on that i don't record these um trials and errors like me making the the cow farm i didn't record that because i knew it was going to take as long as possible and i was actually watching a youtube video while doing it so i was learning from a youtube video so there was no need to pretend as if i'm the one doing it because i was being taught how to do it from the youtube video i'll put a link in the description do check out the link in the description if you want to know how i made that cow farm let's go out there and Check out the cow farm once again. Now that we've killed out all the cows, we need to go breed some more. I don't know if my graphics got a little bit slower because I kind of turned it up to fancy and then um, increased the render and all that other stuff because I wanted things to look more beautiful. If it's slower, tell me I'll just turn it back to slow. Yeah. Breed, 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 breed. They can't get out because of this thing. Turn it back off. 
So basically what I have here is a water dispenser. They are covering the dispenser. You can't see it. But I put a water bucket inside the dispenser. And I can I can reach it. They are covering it right there. And this door is stopping them from falling down. You know, so that's why they're able to get in that hole and hold on there. You can make this as big as you want it to be. But I just want it small so I can kill them easily without them running far away from me. So the little ones, when you breed, they just fall down. And these are the ones that get killed eventually. You can also breed these ones if you want. So... So imagine how much leather I was able to get in one kill. That's a good cow farm. Although manually made and manually done, but hey, it still works. It gets me much leather than allowing cows to roam and chasing them up and down. Now, time for the chickens because I need feather. I need lots of feather to make. arrows that I'm going to be using to shoot but hey, when I eventually get infinity um, a bow that has infinite arrows I won't need to kill chickens for feather so that would be great I hope they drop feather because some of them don't but hey I still get XP and that's why I don't want to die because I'm actually at level 28 so that's a lot of XP from killing animals from breeding cows chickens farming does not give any XP too bad and I'm gonna kill a lot of them off yes I'm getting some feather I'm getting a lot of eggs that I don't need. I've seen some people throwing eggs at each other. So I guess I might just throw all my eggs away later. This is not the best way to kill chicken. I've seen some people crazily chase chicken around and stuff, but I just hitting them like I'm having pity on them or something. a lot of XP right now I noticed something about cows when you hit one the others run away like you didn't hit the others but when you hit one of them they all scatter but chickens don't do that you can hit one and the others will just stand still waiting for their turn crazy I know lots of chicken I'm not killing all of them but just enough to get Maybe a stack of feather and make bows, arrows, I mean. Too much chicken. Oh, I didn't kill them, I was just waiting for me to start making the video. So you can see all in action. Okay, that's enough chicken killing for right now. Let's see. We have 39 feathers. And, wow, 49 chicken. I'm just going to put right, go to the furnace and put that in. That's too much food. I don't need all that food, but hey. When you're paying on the offline fat server, you won't run out of food as much as you would. When you're playing an online server oh, there is nobody to sell these things to also so that's kind of a waste that's what I wanted to show you guys in this episode I just wanted to show off my cow farm show off my chicken farm my wheat farm and also um, the little sugar cane farm I've gotten all these sugar canes from lots of sugar canes so Food is no longer my problem in Minecraft. So, what next? On the list, like I told you, we're going to be creating a mob 
farm right up there. So expect that in the next episode, episode 7. And hopefully after that we'll look at more cave exploring, mining. And I need more diamonds. So right now I don't want to concentrate on that. I just want to get all this sorted out. So get some enchantments going. And yeah, it's been great. Hope you enjoyed watching me show off all the things I didn't show you how I was doing. I just did it offline and then started recording. But hey, it's a let's play video, but not everything can be recorded. It would have been take it would have taken too too long. So that's why I did this one like this. Hope you enjoyed episode six, which is this one you're watching right now. And hope to see you in our next episode. I'm making this one short, 20 minutes. Our other episodes will be as long as 30 minutes because I'll be actually doing stuff there. So this is the current. I've raised the roof a little, if you noticed. Yeah, because I needed the shelves to take some space. And this is still not our permanent home. We have lots of episodes. We are, we are going to look at how to actually build different type of homes. And I hope you subscribe to my channel, I seriously do. And give this video a like if you like my cow farm, my pig farm, my... I don't have a pig farm. Who, uh, who has a pig farm? You don't need a pig farm in Minecraft. Yeah, so that's been today's episode. My name is Soki Bricks, and I'll see you in, in, in episode 7. I'm out. Peace.